thank you so much. First of all, that attack against the ASEAN diplomatic and humanitarian convoy is totally unacceptable. As uh, our as our president, acting president mentioned, our government, national unity government, strongly condemn this attack. This is whoever attacked this, it is totally unacceptable. And this is the one that this uh, ASEAN diplomatic convoy is the one that intention is to help the providing the humanitarian assistance to the internally displaced people who try to avoid from the war conflict. So um, right now, what we hear the uh, information is that this, this is that uh, I just want to point out one thing. Uh, this, that area, that incident area is under control by the Honda, Honda forces and its allies, militias, PNO. And there's no NUGPDFs or resistant, resistant um, the movements are in that area. So one thing is that this is a stage, we could say that it's a stage attack. So we still try to investigate who real responsible for that. But we could say at this time is that this is the area that controlled by the military and its allies PNO. So without, everybody know that without military, even though if not military, without military knowledge and their blessing, this kind of attack may not happen in that area. So anyway, so this is too early to say who's responsible for that. What I can tell you right now is that the NUG PDFs and resistance forces are not there. And then we will never attack these kind of things. And then we'll, we will not target the no, um, civilian target, especially those humanitarian convoy. And then we, we instructed our forces to attack only the military targets. So anyway, so this this is the latest situations that we hear. And unfortunately, and this is the one that um, um, that uh, broke all kinds of international law. And then also that I would say that it could lead to the war crimes as well. Uh, this is a very good question. I will also uh, want to ask the whoever uh, responsible for the culprits are. Um, I mean, this, as um, ASEAN current chair, Indonesia mentioned recent, recently, Indonesia has been engaging with um, all the stakeholders, including national unity government, and also to the uh, military council as well. So, and the Indonesia feel that uh, they have uh, some progress towards providing that humanitarian assistance to the people in need inside Myanmar. This is what they said. So we also hopeful for that. And this is a kind of support to the ASEAN's effort to uh, deliver humanitarian assistance, whoever attacked the convoy. They clearly, they clearly uh, indicating that their intention is to support the humanitarian uh, AIDS delivery. And then also there is also time with the uh, upcoming ASEAN summit, like you said, and then uh, the, the attack happened May 7, in a couple of days, two, three days time, the, uh, May 9th, and then ASEAN summit starts. So uh, that's also that uh, they have the intention to blame the resistant forces, but they, they, that's clearly that it's not resistant forces, it's also clearly that this under their control area. So um, in contrast, um, our government, national unity governments, always call for unhindered access to humanitarian aid deliveries. Now we, again, uh, as you may see that our president's and UG president mentioned in his tweet that he again called for the unhindered access to the humanitarian aid delivery. Uh, we, as a government of the legitimate government of Myanmar, we, we, well, we are always open to work with, engage with ASEAN and international community in order to deliver the much needed humanitarian assistance to people in Myanmar. As you may know, the latest recent um, UNOCHS report mentioned about, we have 1.8 million people IDP inside Myanmar. 
And then about almost 18 million people needs a daily humanitarian assistance. So it's a, needs are tremendous. And then the progress has been made uh, as assumed by uh, Indonesia, uh, uh, current chair of Indonesia. Uh, but this, this again, this attack is totally unacceptable. And that this sabotage that uh, humanitarian aid delivery.